Thank you for welcoming Women Deliver to Ottawa, to Parliament Hill, and not least to this amazing place, a monument that celebrates the five, famous five, and they have names, Nellie, Henrietta, Irina, Louise, and Emily. They truly were women who delivered, women who paved the way for generations of activists, for progress, who showed that big change is possible, and who used humor, hope, and human rights to get the work done. Their work lives on. As we say a little polemically in Women Deliver, women deliver, and much more than babies, there's good men who deliver for women as well, don't worry. <laughs> uh, Canada is one of the countries in the world that really delivers for women, at home and abroad. And we are, in Women Deliver, beyond thrilled to host or to have the fifth Women Deliver conference in Canada, a country that has an international assistance policy with women's rights, gender equality, and sexual and reproductive health and rights at its core, and a government and a prime minister that calls itself and himself a feminist. So no, it's not a coincidence that Women Deliver has chosen to have its next conference in Canada. You live it, you do it, and you export it. And you send a signal to the world at a very crucial time that investing in gender equality in girls and women is not optional, but foundational to a strong society and to progress for all. You do it here today, you'll do it next year when you host the G7, and we will do it together in 2019. As the Prime Minister announced, the Women Deliver Conference will take place in Vancouver on June 3 to 6, 2019, in a beautiful, state-of-the-art, environmental sustainable conference center right at the water edge and in a city that has embraced us and our values and where indigenous women leaders gave us a warm warm welcome the women deliver conference is today the largest gathering on the health rights and well-being of girls and women and the next one in 2019 is expected to gather over 6,000 people well leaders influencers from government businesses, civil society, academic, advocates, activists and journalists. And then another 100,000 coming in online from under the baobab trees, from the schools, from the universities, from parliaments across the globe, because this is the place to be. The conference as such is much more than an event, much more than a bleep in time, much more than just a conference. It is a generator of ideas and action it's a fueling station, a fueling station for solutions, idea and for hope, for advocates across the globe, north, south, east, west, high and low, world leaders and village activists who work every day tremendously hard to achieve a more gender equal world, just like the famous five did. So un unlike in 1880 and 1917, today we have the evidence that shows that when you invest in girls and women, in their health, in their rights, in their nutrition, in their education, in their economic and political participation, there is a ripple effect that goes way beyond the individual. And everybody wins. We're talking big societal change, and we're talking big money. The conference comes at a time when the global terrain for girls and women continues to shift. But we will not go backwards. However, standing up and speaking up and building a movement like this, building something this big that will echo throughout the world in June 2019 and beyond, we at Women Deliver can't do it alone. We need everybody involved. So I have a challenge for all of you and a call to action to all of you gathered here and online. As we prepare for this great conference and event and movement, we need your help in so many ways to make it much more than a moment in time to make it truly transformational. I know that the development 
and women's rights organization gathered here are ready to, and eager to engage, ready to rock. You do such a fantastic job at home and abroad already. I know that Madame Coguatrudeau, Sophie, is the strongest advocate for girls and women and a wonderful influencer in the Deliver for Good campaign. And we cherish Minister Bibo for her friendship and partnership and strong, transparent and game-changing work on the new international assistance policy which just came out. You will all be here together with Minister Malta and the Prime Minister. We expect to see you all in Vancouver. But it can be much bigger than that. And that's where all of you come in. So I envision Canada to living up, at least living up, to what Denmark did in May 2016. They made, well, that's when we had the last conference. They made May 16 to Women Deliver Month. So I envision in Canada in June 2019, hundreds of events focused on gender equality, on the power of girls and women in the companies, in the organizations, in the arts, in the streets, in parliament, and here. Events that welcome the Women Deliver participants, events that invite to dialogue, events that shows Canadian what has been achieved and what still needs to be achieved, because let's face it, we're not there yet, even here. So my plea and my challenge to you is to make June 2019 Women Deliver Month in Canada, make it from coast to coast to coast, make it echo throughout the country, and we, I promise, will make it echo throughout the world. I know that a lot of people are watching right now through webcast. I wish you could be here and feel the energy and the warmth, <laughs> the warm welcome. But you soon will be, you soon will experience it. So please, and that of course goes to everybody here as well, and you, put the 3rd to the 6th of June 2019 in your calendars. Start saving up. Don't start looking at tickets yet, but that'll come. But let's meet there and continue to change the world for girls and women. It's still needed. They power progress for all. Girls and women power progress for all. They deliver. We need to deliver for them. And with our collective power, we can make that happen. Thank you. Merci. And miigwech.